right? Be a key player for them right now because that's what they need. Now, some people will just waste your time. Like if they're just, you don't have to give people your presence. You don't have to give people your valuable priceless presence and your valuable priceless listening. If they're a client and they've earned that and they've paid for that, that's one thing. If they're a family member and you're committed to serving them and loving them and helping them, that's one thing. But if it's not one of those two things and you're not getting something out of that interaction too, and it's not a win-win interaction, it's just like a win-lose, like you lose, they win, and you feel obligated to do that for whatever reason. Man, so many people will just waste your time. Nobody is a waste of time, like as a human being, uh, but there are definitely people who will waste your time, and those are the kind of people that you just want to stay away from. So there's some thunder. You probably can't hear that. What a, it's like a, it's this crazy storm here in Nashville right now, but it's going to be like warm. It's going to be like 70 degrees and sunny um, by Saturday. So that's cool. I'm so excited for Funnel Hacking Live. I don't, I'm not even going, I'm not even going to learn anything. I literally don't want to learn anything. Uh, but what I am going for is to be in the energy, be in the vibe and write in my journal while I'm in that vibe and create things. I'll write things in my journal that no one ever said, have nothing to do with what the speaker's saying, and I'll design out this whole plan for how I'm gonna build my empire and how we're gonna grow this key player message and, and how I'm gonna increase my reach and, and all this stuff. That has nothing to do with what the speaker's saying but inspired by the energy and the vibe that's there because you got thousands of highly committed business owners who are investing the time and setting aside the time to make it a priority and a commitment to be at the number one business and market online marketing funnel training in the world how how powerful is that how powerful is that and i'll i'll also share a little brief piece of my vision with you right now um Imagine a community where everybody is who's who the message has attracted everybody in the tribe. Where and when is that, Curtis? It's in Nashville today, <clears throat> and uh, it's today through Saturday. And how fitting is Nashville? Nashville is the city. I think everybody in the music industry kind of uniformly agrees the best music writers are in Nashville. Um, but headquarters for key player is in LA. So I'll be moving there this year. I'm going to be going there and spending about a month to just like really get a feel for it. And then I'll probably go back home to my current home, which is in Utah. And then I'll probably go back out and live in another place for about a month, get a feel for it. And then I'll move headquarters there and my long-term housing will be there. But uh, LA is like a world hub. And so but I have this vision of, of a community that's all brought together with this, this uniform message, this tribe that's all committed to practicing and living this way, this key player lifestyle that they design and craft and take responsibility for and, and bring into reality in their own creative endeavors. And the, the power isn't even in the guy up front teaching or the guy up front playing music or even if that's a piano or a whole band. or it, That's not even the power. The power is in the, the mastermind, the community of like-minded people who come together for a definite purpose to empower and support and love each other and build each other up and buoy each other up in, in their own version of what I'm creating, their own movement. You can create your own movement that you lead and other people who are in it are leading their own movement. They're, they're leaders. Like there's no short, like there's no limit to how many different powerful movements can be created on the planet, is there? Because the, the, the percentage of people who uh, operate this way, who see the world this way is so teeny tiny that there's just there's just no I, no matter what we do we're not going to be able to get everybody to to buy in to this way of operating so more power to you i say go take come take from whatever i'm saying 
and use it, copy it, take it, steal it, whatever you want to do, and make it your own, put your own spin on it, and go share your own version out. And more importantly, live it. You know, take whatever works for you, whatever you like, whatever lands for you, go live it, and then go teach it and, and help people with it. And even if it's, it's always going to be slightly different than mine, like what I'm saying is slightly different than all the people who I've collected information from and sought truth from and stuff. But uh, that's perfect. We're all unique. There's only one of you on the whole planet. Someone said, you want to be the best person in the world at what you do. Man, I want to be the only person in the world who does what I do. Because if I'm the only person who does exactly what I do and the way I do it, then I am the best. And it ain't even about a competition of being better than somebody else. What it's about is being my own self. The greatest gift we can give the world is the gift of our own joy, our own happiness, our own liberation, you know? And so I had this, this, this thought, this, I, I had this sad day a few days ago. I'm like, I miss my kids. I feel like I'm not being a great dad to my kids right now because I'm traveling. I'm away from home. I've been gone for about two weeks and I'm just like on this tour, just like going to personal training, personal development, um, seminars and, uh, events and things like that and meeting all these fabulous people and stuff and like pursuing my dream pursuing what is the highest my highest joy right now but having this feeling of guilt like I'm not being a great dad because I don't want my kids to think I don't love them or I don't want to be there for them or something and I just had to do a, I did a little focus wheel on it which I'll share more about what that is over at keyplayer.life and I did some of the work on it, and I'll share more about what that is so that you can do this yourself over at keyplayer.life. Shameless plug. But as I started doing this work on it, I came to the realization that no way. The best father I can be to those kids is a father who follows his highest joy. And even if I'm temporarily away from them for a little bit, like that's going to pale in comparison to what I'm standing for in my life and what I unconsciously allow them and give them permission to be in their life because I'm teaching them to follow their highest joy by doing it. I'm demonstrating it, not saying it, preaching it, teaching it. I'm just living it. And right now they're so young that like, I mean, you take the, their whole life as a whole total um, take their whole total 80, 90 years of their life into consideration. And when I do that, I'm like, no, what I'm doing right now, what I'm pursuing, what I'm up to, the fear that I'm stepping into, the courage that I'm stepping into is going to outweigh any of like me being gone from them for a few weeks or something like that. So that just that just goes to show, that just supports the idea that the greatest gift you can give the planet, any other human, is the gift of just following your own frequency, your own voice, your own joy, and like living life full out. And so what what living life looks like for me full out is this, this movement and this community of people who come together as key players and leaders in their lives who just commit to this work and do their work on themselves and improve themselves take full responsibility for that and then go create everybody in their life as powerful and look if people you treat people like they're powerful healthy adults and if they don't want to be treated like that they'll go away don't worry they'll go away on their own if they can't handle that or they don't want that they'll go they'll go find someone who will participate with them in the drama and in the and in the struggle and who will support them and 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 make them feel more assured in their victim like stance in their victim uh perceptions that they have like they'll that they're perfect for each other they can go they can go do that like till their heart's content you know I've got a better way I want to use my time. I've got I've got a way, and that's not better. I just have a way that's going to, that, okay, maybe it is a little better, but I'm, it just works for me, okay? And there are 7 billion people on the planet. I only want like a 1,000 of them to follow what I'm saying 
and the other seven six billion and nine hundred and ninety million and nine thousand nine hundred and ninety people can just uh they're gonna find who they're gonna be attracted who to, to the other people who are who are a fit for them so anyway oh the drama yes the drama the drama can be fun hey dude if it's fun drama and it's serving what you know if it's fun drama and it's serving what my highest joy is then i'm totally down for drama i uh i can listen to a song and just cry and just feel the drama of it and participate in the emotions of life like and feel the spectrum experience the emotional spectrum that this life has to offer and that the human that the human mind body um that the human being has available in terms of a spectrum of emotions i think they're all great we don't want to like shy away from feeling any of those because like it's what gives that zest and that contrast in life so and at the same time uh i always want to remind everybody and myself and sometimes i need to be reminded that at any time i can just check out of that game i can push pause on the game of life and get back into reality and realize there's no way anything could hurt me there's just no way like if i'm god like of my my world and you're god of your world how's who's gonna hurt god what is god like what is God? And like, as I study and I learn and I observe and I experience things and I practice things, the more and more clear I am that what God is, is like either it's like this present moment. It's the ability to choose. It's basically consciousness, the ability to have awareness and choice and consciousness of how I choose to see things and my perception so like if we're praying to god to bless us that our um, kid will heal from cancer 